Today, we're going to be talking about Google Drive. If you have a Gmail address, you already have 15 gigabytes of space, free space that you can use. If you need more, you can always buy more, but automatically you get 15 gigabytes for free. So is it a good idea to use that to back up your computer to the cloud? And how easy or not it is to restore the data in case of ransomware? Let's find out. Hi, my name is Freddie Dubon. In this channel, I provide tips and tricks for you and your business that will save you many hours of research. We are going to start by installing the desktop client that is going to allow you to select folders that you can synchronize to the Google Drive. Let's go through that process very quickly. Installation is very straightforward. You double click on this file that you download. When you go to google.com, you can um, download this desktop client. You double click on it and it launches the installer. You can select all the defaults as I'm going to do here. When the installation completes, you're going to see this message. You're going to have to sign in using your Gmail account, also known as your Google account. Then the client is going to show you the folders that you can that you can synchronize. I'm going to choose the defaults, desktop, documents, and pictures. Now what's going to happen is my documents in those folders are going to start synchronizing to Google Drive. If I click on this little cloud on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, I can see that the synchronization engine is starting. So right now what it's doing is it is going to start checking to see if I have any files. If not, it's just going to start copying them up to the cloud. I'm going to let that run for a while because it will take a while to synchronize to the cloud. This time, I'm not going to show you the infection process. Um, I do have other videos in my channel that show you the infection process, like the Windows 10 uh, installation and recovery. But I am going to show you the the effects. It takes about three minutes for this infection to take place. So once this infection takes place, this is what you see. You see the virus running in the background, the QSCX virus. You see the documents, they're all encrypted at this point. They have this QSCX extension. That means that they're, in, they're encrypted. And um, there's also a, a checkbox on the left-hand side that just means that it was synchronized with the Google Drive. And as you can see on the left hand side here, here is my Google Drive. It's showing me my computer, my three folders that I decided to synchronize, the desktop, the documents and the pictures. And all the files have been synchronized from here to here. And they have this QSCX extension on them as well. This is this is expected as we have seen. We have seen this a few times already. Dropbox was the same way. Google Drive is exactly the same way. What we want to find out is how easy is it to be able to get that data back if I need it. So one of the things that I can do at this point is right click on the file that I want to restore and I can go to manage versions. And as you can see, I have two versions. I have the current version, which is the, the one with the QSCX extension. That means that is the one that is encrypted. But I also have another version, which is the context that text that one I don't want to restore this one because that's the encrypted one. I do want to restore this one. So I can click on the three dots and I can say download. When I click on the download button, I'm downloading this specific version of my data. So I'm going to go into show and folder. And now I have it up here. But one thing you notice, it has multiple extensions. It has contact export.txt, that QSCX, that text. If I open it, is my right date. I mean, it's the correct information. The only thing that it has multiple extensions. So if I want to clean it up, I can, I can clean it up by removing the extension, the extra extensions. Uh, not ideal because I would have to do this on every single file that I, that I restore. But at least I can restore my files from a different version when, a t when the time that was not infected. 
The next question that comes to my mind is, okay, that's fine. I can do it on a per file basis, but can I do it on a massive scale? Can I do it on an, on an entire folder? Let's find out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at this Halloween folder and I'm gonna try to restore that. So what I wanna do is I wanna start downloading this folder called Halloween. And I wanna see what I'm able to recover. I was hoping to see different versions of this folder, but I'm not seeing that option. I'm only able to see um, just a download option. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this folder and see what happens. Okay, so my Halloween folder has been downloaded. I'm gonna open it up again. It, it created a zip file. I'm going to double click on it and there is my folder. So because it's a zip file, I'm going to copy it to a different destination. Okay, there's my folder. I'm going to double click on it to see what I got. And what did I get? Oh. So what I see on Google Drive is what I get back, which means that some files are encrypted, some files are not encrypted. Some files are encrypted because they were they they did the synchronization. Some of them did not go through the synchronization process. That's the reason why some are encrypted, some are not encrypted, but this is not what I was expecting. What I wanted was I wanted to get my data, all my data unencrypted, but I'm not able to do that because I'm not able to choose what version I can select from the folder itself. So bottom line is I'm able to back it up to Google Drive. I'm able to restore file by file by selecting the version that I want. And I'm able to select the one that is not encrypted and I'm able to restore it. When I restore it, it has an extension that I'm not really happy with. I need to change it, but at least I get my data back. Now, if I try to do it on a massive scale, I cannot do it because it's just going to give me what I see, which is encrypted files. Some are encrypted, some are not encrypted. Not very feasible. Okay, so I'm not able to restore the entire folder. What if I select a, a, a lot of different files? Can I choose the version of those files so I can restore in bulk? Nope. I can't do that either. I cannot select multiple files and select versions of those files. I have to do it one file at a time. If I have a thousand files, I have to do it a thousand times. Well, as you can see, ransomware is not a walk in the park. There's so many different things that you have to take in consideration when you when you have to deal with this type of situation. And the best thing to do is to be, be prepared. Not all backups are the same. Um, I can tell you that if, not that I know, I would not use Google Drive as a backup for ransomware purposes. If you're worried about ransomware, don't think that your Google Drive backup will have, will get you back up and running quickly enough. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. If you got value out of this video, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. This helps me and building up my audience and bringing you more videos like this. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one.